Hi guys, it's Miss Michelle. Um, today we are going to open up our orange egg. So if you don't have your orange egg, go find it and bring it back. So I have my orange egg out and I'm gonna open it up. Let's see what's in the egg. There is a piece of bread. It might have a little square of bread. It might even feel kind of hard now because I put them in the eggs so more than a week ago, but it's a piece of bread. And so I, I wonder why there's a piece of bread in that egg. Can you guess what part of the Easter story we might be talking about today? Well, it has to do with the meal that J that Jesus shared with his disciples. Um, what do we call the meal that we eat at the beginning of the day? Like after we wake up, the, at what meal do we have? That's right, breakfast. Did you eat breakfast this morning? I did. We have breakfast in the beginning of the day. And then in the middle of the day, we have another meal. Maybe it's right before you have a nap. I know at school, it is right before we go to the nap room. Yeah, it's lunch. Sometimes we have sandwiches for lunch. Sometimes we have pasta for lunch. There's lots of different things I've seen you guys bring to school to have for lunch. And so, and I just had my lunch and um, my tummy's full now. And in a little while, I will have another meal and I bet you will too with your family, probably around, might be around your dinner table or your dining room table. And I'm in my kitchen because this is where I'm going to make our um, dinner, which is the meal we're talking about. It's the third meal of the day. And I'm going to make it in my kitchen and we're going to serve it right here at my table that I'm sitting next to and we'll have dinner together. Well, today's story is about Jesus and his last dinner, which they called a, the Last Supper. Some people call dinner supper. So Jesus had a special dinner with his disciples. And I think that it's important for us to know that he wanted to show his disciples how much he loved them. So let's go ahead and read the story, and then we'll talk a little bit more after the story. So again, this is the Last Supper, and I'm reading out of the book, same book you have that you found in your Easter bag. So you can get that out, and you can look at the pictures with me while I am reading the book. The Last Supper. Jesus picked up a loaf of bread and thanked God for it, just like we do. We say the blessing before we eat. Then he broke it into pieces, a lot like the piece of bread in your egg, but maybe a little bit bigger. He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. And look, here's everybody sitting at the table. They had to use a big table, like maybe a dining room table. In the same way, he took a cup of wine and thanked God for it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. The time has come for me to go away. Where am I going? You cannot go yet. I'm going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you, but I will return to you soon. At first, you will be very sad, but do not be frightened. Soon, you will understand and you will be filled with joy. So Jesus had that special supper with the disciples and the disciples were a group of his friends that he 
called disciples because he taught them how to teach other people. And we can be disciples of God and we can teach other people what we know about God. We can be those teachers too. I'm a teacher, I'm a preschool teacher, but you can be a teacher and you can be a disciple by telling people about God and about how special he is and about what he's made. This wonderful sunshine day, the food that we eat, the trees, the birds, the world, and about how much he loves us. Well, Jesus had his last supper on earth with his disciples because he loved them very much. Jesus loves us very much too. We remember and think about the people we love. During the last supper, Jesus had with his disciples, he asked them to remember him. Actually, he asked them to remember him in a special way. Jesus gave them a sort of picture. Not really a picture like we think about. Like sometimes I take a picture of you at school and share it with your mom and dad. Or even a picture that we draw with crayons and markers. But it's a picture that they have like right up in their head so that they can remember. They can remember and think about the time that they had that special supper with Jesus and the rest of the disciples. So the picture that he gave them was one of bread and of wine. Can you imagine a picture drawn with bread and wine? That's silly. We can't draw a picture with bread and wine. But you can use it you can use that picture right here in your head to help remember. So what we call this picture, and there are pictures made of the Last Supper. There are artists that have made beautiful pictures of what the Last Supper must have looked like. And there's a picture in our book of the Last Supper. So there are pictures, but those weren't the pictures Jesus was talking about. The special picture called the, Lost, the Lord's Supper is because Jesus is Lord. And so it was his supper. In the Lord's Supper, there is bread and there is wine. And these things help paint a picture for us of what Jesus did for us. So the picture is to help us remember what Jesus did. He said the bread was his body, which was broken for us. Jesus said the wine is his blood, which was shed for us. The bread and the wine stand for what Jesus did for us on the cross. And we're gonna talk about that in a couple of days. But the picture of the Lord's Supper helps us remember what Jesus did for us. So when we celebrate the Lord's Supper, we are to remember Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. So maybe when you are done watching this video, maybe you wanna draw a picture of maybe a time that you had supper with your family. And it would be a great idea if you wanted to draw a picture of Jesus and his disciples having the Last Supper. There might even be a coloring page that mom or dad could print out for you if they have a printer at home. So we'd like to end, we always like to end these chats with a prayer. So let's get our prayer hands out and let's bow our heads. Dear God, Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for giving us a picture to help us remember him. Thank you for loving us. We love you back. Amen. So that's all for right now. Until tomorrow when you watch the next video and the next egg that will open. And that one will be the, I believe, the green egg that will open tomorrow. So until then, I love you 
I miss you and I wish you well.